Hey, what's going on everybody? Media 44 coming at you another video. All right, so we're going to take a second away from basketball because I want to react to something I forgot to react to uh, on this channel. I react to it in real life, but not not, uh, not here. So, uh, of course, someone attacked uh, Dave Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl about three nights ago while he was doing a uh, concert there, of course. And a uh, dude got on stage with a uh, gun replica that you know, clicks out to be a blade, they say, um, and, you know, tried to rush him. I, I don't know that he tried to stab him with it, but uh, he did have it on him. And, uh, you know, it was a scary situation. Dude dove at, 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 at the man. I'm pretty sure you all have seen the footage. I think what I wanted to lend to the situation is just like growing up in Hollywood, I've spent a lot of time at the Hollywood Bowl uh, throughout my life. It was actually maybe probably five minutes away from my house growing up as a little kid. I don't even think, I, it, it didn't take five minute drive to get there. It really didn't, it was over the freeway around the corner. So, you know, we, we would go there a lot, mom and I, uh, for various things. I think I even performed there once as a, as a little kid in a samba band with my, with my uh, elementary school. So, uh, you know, Hollywood Bowl is a place where my, my high school had its graduations, even though I didn't graduate, um, I would have graduated at the Hollywood Bowl. So it was one of those situations where it's like, I know how lax it is. It's basically what I'm here to tell you. I know that they don't have the patch you down, or at least they didn't back in the day. Uh, things could have obviously changed since I've been over there. I haven't lived in Hollywood in probably over 15 years, so it's been a very long time. But nevertheless, um, you know, when you go somewhere as many times as I did, you know, it's like you know that they didn't have any security. If they did have security, it was like uh, the guys that they hire, um, Staff Pro, if you've ever heard of that type of company, where they just hire regular security guards and make a minimum wage, kind of put on yellow shirts and just point, go that away, go that away. Like that's the, the security that they hired there for their venues. <clears throat> they are, um, I would imagine they have their own security, you know, you, you're, you're axing everything, but Hollywood Bowl is like an open end, outdoor kind of a environment. It's like a, it's an outdoor uh, amphitheater, you know? Not overly large, it's not incredibly big, and it's not like a, a staple center or nothing like that. But, you know, it's like a theater. And, you know, you kind of just walk up, you park your car. Like, it's, it's a real open-ended type of thing. It, it's, it, it's not a whole lot of steps. You ain't got to go through um, metal detectors and all kinds of uh, different security guards patting you down. None of that was at all what was going on when I, when I would go there as a kid. You drove up, park your car right out front, get out, and walk up to it like it's a movie theater. Whatever. And, uh, you know, that's that's why it was probably so easy for that guy to get in there with that, that knife gun thingy. Um, you know, obviously everybody knows about Chris Rock getting on stage and saying, hey, that's, was, that, was that Will Smith? I mean, I think that, that this is one of those situations where you think of that incident as the catalyst for these type of things happening going forward. And that's the problem with what Will did. That's why I never was upset at these harsh consequences that came from the Academy toward Will 10 years, whatever. I was, I'm okay with it because you're a leader in this world. You're one of those people that people will follow what you do. Kids will look at what you do and say, you know what? That's how I want to handle my solutions. And maybe they don't come up there and slap. Maybe they come up there with different intentions, worse intentions. So that's what we saw today, and, and it is going to point at Will Smith. And every time we see someone do something like this, it's going to point at Will Smith, and that's that's the problem. So, um, you know, it's not a harmless thing. You know, when 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 you when you jump on stage, you better be prepared for what comes with that, because it doesn't end well for people. As we saw, um, this individual who got on stage and did this with Dave, Ch Dave Chappelle, they broke both of his arms in such a way that was supposed to be a message sent to everybody. Because what they want to do, obviously, and you see in all the celebrities posting his his picture and all that, which zoomed in and they got their little captions and all that. They're doing that because they don't want people jumping on stage when they on stage. They're worried about their own safety. So, of course, they're going to champion uh, the display of this man's arm all twisted up and try to scare the hell out of us so that we don't ever try them. Um, but at the end of the day, that's, that's what it is. You got to up your security if you're a, a performer. Uh, this is the era where people have less and less respect for life, less and less respect for you, and are desperate. And they will rob you in broad daylight in Los Angeles. And this is yet another incident where Los Angeles mental health or what have you is out of control. We've talked about that. 
how they don't have a lot of uh, mental health centers and things like that for people out here. So people walk around freely to be able to get in their car, get their licenses, uh, you know, get security uh, badges if they want to. Like they don't really do a whole lot of vetting for things that you otherwise think they should. So maybe even the security guards might not necessarily be qualified for what it is that they needed to do to prevent that from happening or maybe even be crazy to damn selves like these type of things in california are just real and so when people come out here we always say you know stay on your toes it's a lot of things to consider when you when you when you come out here because it's a it's a it's a beautiful place obviously and it's, it's a lot of money to be made and a lot of attention out in this place but it's also a lot of desperation a lot of poverty a lot of mental illness and a lot of drugs and, and the combination of, of, of many of those in all of us. So you just gotta, <laughs> you got to stay on your toes out here. And then you think about like, if you're an African-American person and the various different things that come with that or a Hispanic person, the various things that come with that in this environment with the, with the gang culture. So all of it combined just makes for, you can see where if LA doesn't tighten up, uh, you're gonna see some of these things stop being here. You know, it's not gonna be what it always has been because it's just it's, it's no way to secure safety you know and i think that that's what people need to start being aware of and starting to see the tea leaves read the tea leaves you got a situation where this place is very very expensive and they're trying to, to make it even more expensive so they can get that element out the element ain't leaving why because the element a lot of times is homeless so it, it ain't about whether or not they can afford to live here they're just they're going to make it and when they get frustrated, they're going to take it out on whoever. And so that's that's probably part of what you saw there as well. Um, maybe I heard this guy may be um, of, of, of the LGBTQ community. You know, I don't know if that was a joke or if it was real. I have no idea. Maybe he had an emotive. Maybe he had his own mission. I know Dave Chappelle has said some things that may uh, have offended people very recently. I think that could be also what, what what was going on there. But all in all, um, security made sure they sent a, a message to all of us by uh, doing something really weird to that man's arm. <laughs> really, really strange stuff they did to that dude. So, hey, you get on stage, you do that, you you get what you get. Simple as that. You don't you don't you don't do that. And if I were a security guard, I'm pretty sure I'd have been in the melee because you don't get a chance. To attack a legend around uh, me, <laughs> that's how I feel about it. You ain't you ain't about to attack one of ours, and and it's it's not just about whether or not I know the guy or not. That's that's a that's somebody we as a as a village should be looking to protect. That's Dave Chappelle. He speaks truth to power. He speaks his mind, and he does it in such a way that it amuses us and keeps us happy while listening to that truth. If you can't see the fruit in protecting that kind of person, um, I don't know what to tell you. So that's that's what I think of Dave Chappelle. Um, so that's what I got, man. That's what I got. I, I I do encourage everybody to be safe, obviously wherever you live. But if you're especially if you're here, and just understand that uh, you know uh, um, entertainers are going to start protecting themselves. I could totally see a situation where this is going to be the opposite thing, where somebody's going to run on stage with the wrong person, and and one of our favorite stars is going to pull out a gun. That's where this is headed. Or their security guard is going to gun somebody down right there on stage. So we need to be very careful about where this goes from here. Because some of our favorite artists and athletes are extreme human beings. You know, they're, they're, they're highly driven and they're not going to let nobody take nothing from them. Some of these people, you know what I mean? They don't get where they're going without being a certain level of cautious. And if you, if you run up on the wrong one, you're probably going to get what you're looking for. So that's pretty much what I want to say. My name is BDL44. I thank y'all for watching. I'm out.